time. The Wake Up for Wishes Telethon coming up tomorrow. And News 19 partnering up with Make-A-Wish Alabama to raise money and an effort to grant as many wishes as we can for children in the Tennessee Valley living with critical illnesses. And we cannot do it without you. In the weeks leading up, we've been showing you the faces of some of the children in our viewing area who are waiting for their wishes to be granted. This week, we're taking you back through their journeys. This is Whitley's story. Where's Whitley? Three-year-old Whitley can play all day. Yeah, Tim. She has lots of attitude, lots of sass. Let me do by myself. She's so sweet at the same time. Help me, Whitley. And where you find Whitley? I got you. You'll find her favorite pal. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Yep. If it has Minnie on it, we have purchased it. I love Minnie Mouse. You love Minnie Mouse? Yeah. Parents Autumn and Corey say the fascination started in 2023, soon after Whitley was diagnosed with cancer. When she first got sick, someone had bought her like a little stuffed Minnie Mouse to send with us when we went the first time to St. Jude. She lugged it everywhere. Minnie Mouse was with the 18-month-old every step of the way, starting with the diagnosis. She had stage three neuroblastoma. We did an x-ray that found a grapefruit-sized mass in her chest that was basically squishing her lung, compressing her esophagus, her trachea. It attached her vertebrae. It was in her spine from the top of her neck basically to the middle of her back. Whitley needed chemo. She did lose her hair, and she had a lot of hair, and that was rough. I didn't know how rough that was going to be. After nine rounds, the cancerous tumor shrunk, and it was time to remove it. August 15th of 23, she had a 80% tumor resection. The residual tumor that is left is what's still in her spine because there's too much of a risk to go in and get it without risk of paralyzing her. 20% approximately that they left was, it was non-cancerous or dead cells, so yeah, the tumor was they were able to remove all the active cancer anyway. A few months later, December 9th, she was no evidence of disease. It's just a blessing, <laughs> great blessing to see her growing and putting on some weight and look, just looking healthy. And feeling healthy too. Whoa. She easily keeps up with her brother Wesson go. and sister Caroline. I got it. You sure? Seeing them together. Yeah. Autumn and Corey say is a gift of its own. Birthdays, Easter. Yeah, we missed almost every holiday in 2023 away from them because they weren't able to go because of certain restrictions that were at the hospital. After spending that year apart, the time that you get together now is so much more precious. Now they want to use this time to make memories. The family is asking Make-A-Wish for a trip to Disney World so Whitley can meet her hero. She talks about yes, it every day. <laughs> every day. I want to go to Minnie Mouse's house. I want to go to Minnie Mouse's house. Yeah. And the whole family can spend time together. Means it means the world to us. To be able to fully enjoy with no limitations. And maybe just an official celebration. Yeah. <laughs> All that to be over with. And it's a we well. made it trip. <laughs> we made we it. We made it, yeah. If you're interested in helping children like Whitley see their wishes granted, you can donate to News 19's Wake Up for Wishes telethon again coming up tomorrow. That's Thursday, June 27th. We love if while you're thinking about it, you consider helping us get a head start and donate right now. Text the word wishes to 243-725 or you can scan this QR code on your screen. It's that little black and white box there. We've also got all of this information on our website, whnt.com. We do want to let you know every dollar that you graciously choose to give stays right here in Alabama, helping nearly 100 children just like Whitley get their wishes granted.